I'm Gabby Lamb. And I'm Harper Rose Drummond. And you're You're listening to to Tea Time, Time. where we talk about the nastiest, dirtiest, naughtiest, wildest secrets. Enjoy. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Tea Time. We are your hosts. We are. <laughs> we are. It's She didn't tell a lie. I'll tell you that. I was waiting for you to come up with a name. I know. Well, here's the thing. I, yeah. per, I personally am Rosie O'Donnell and you are Ellen DeGeneres. Hey, and welcome back to Women in Comedy. I don't know why we do this. I don't know why we do the because weird we, it intro. started off as a as a rebellion against Lee because he's like you have to say your names, but we just say our name right as y'all are listening to this. You just heard I'm Gabby Lamb and I'm Harper Rose Drummond. I so, know. So why in God's fuck would I go? Hi, I'm Harper Rose. It's like okay, we cracked the case. So here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I listen back to that intro and it just it truly makes me cringe every time. Oh, um, okay. I'm Gabby Lamb. And you're listening to Tea Time. Mm. I don't know. I just, you're hearing your own voice back is just kind of like, uh. Well, that means that you're not a narcissist, so that's good. Is that true? It would be co- probably kind of weird if you listen to it back and you're like, oh, fuck, that's No, is good. that like and an actual like, keep- scientific proven thing? If you like your own voice, you're a narcissist? I just want to point out right now that you asking me a science question does solidify that I am actually a scientist because well, I don't know if you're just yes. pulling shit out of your ass right now or if that's true. Well, I, I personally, with my scientific background, know it to be true. Okay, so here's yeah. the thing. I, I want to clear something up real quick before okay. we get really into it. Okay. I've been in a terrible mood for the past few weeks because, um, you know, I've just been stressed, so my energy's been low. Just wanted to address that. I feel like I have half a brain, and that's it. So that's all. Just want to jump right in and let you guys know. Am I looking into this fucking camera? Yeah, that this camera. is our camera today. Oh, yeah. well, fuck. Well, because I've been looking at this fucking one the whole time. Well, yeah. that's stupid because he said it was this one. Yeah. All right, well, fuck this. Um, that's all I have to say. And that was a good thing that you had to say. Yeah, I know, um, yeah. Everything that I have to say will come after we introduce our very, very special guest. And that's the most important thing. We have a very special guest today. Surprise guest for you all. Um... You've, you know her, you've, She's you hear about at this her point. and if you've uh, been to a live show and if you went to our live show in LA, you probably saw her and uh, she is a, a reoccurring, dare we say main character on this main, podcast, the main character on the podcast. She <laughs> edged Eli out and she became the full star. Now it, she, uh, we've talked about a lot about her and her friends pulled her aside and said, do, do you hear what they say about you on this podcast? The Louisiana crawdads. So why don't yeah. we go ahead and introduce our favorite guest? Well, not, you know, well, <laughs> <laughs> so she is, she is talking and I am going to start talking now. So let's give it up for Miss Grilled Cheese Joy. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> I immediately regret this. I knew she was going to do some cheese dick shit. Um, so just, huh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I I just want to say I do love that you're giving Miss Tits today. Oh, no. Oh, no. My favorite thing about Joy thus far, she hasn't said a fucking thing. She's just gone. But honestly, as she should. I wanted her to come mm-hmm. on and literally yeah. honk her tits, and she's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lee's gonna have a fucking come field field day. Lee, okay, when he uh, to this back. Let's see. Let's run this back a little bit. Lee's in a bad mood right yeah. now because he. I guessed when I walked in here. I was like, Lee, you haven't jacked off this morning, and then he he was like, mm, actually, you might be right. <laughs> yeah, and he was, he's been giving us hella attitude, and I've been trying to be like fun with him, and he's like, oh, I'm setting up. I'm like, oh, I'm there's sorry. There's literally been no attitude. <laughs> oh, there's been. Okay, then why did so you raise Lee your hand jacked off. as if to strike me when I said, ooh, yeah. And you raised your hand as if to slap me. I mean, is that uh, abnormal? Yeah, I, uh, okay, okay honestly, so here's the thing. I mean, he was, he, was, he was loving our, our beautiful rendition of Yeah, Joy and I were morning, serenading I him. Yeah. So Joy's on the pod. The story is, is that he's filled with cum and he's angry. Joy's here. Right, right. Um, Honk he's has a scab on her forehead. Yeah, so ah. now that I have my two sweet roommates with me, I can unpack this for you guys. So as we, can, if you're watching this on YouTube, which if you're a real one, you are, I do have a... I would say it's a giant gash on mm. my, it was like a war. A glistening. Mm. A glistening, gleaming, warlike wound on my yeah. forehead. I was cleaning up the kitchen. Uh-oh, good roommate alert. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I was cleaning up the kitchen. Joy was in Africa. Mm. And 
Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be a good story. And um, anyway, so I'm cleaning it up, cleaning it up. It's cute, cute, cute. There's a bag of trash on the ground. Don't worry. No Doritos in this bag. And so I'm, I'm putting shit in there. And it was almost like, you know, like a witch-like, maybe godlike uh, instinct to go check behind <laughs> the table where we keep all the produce yeah. and, and mm. pills and things. Mm. And so I kind of like shimmy it out and I pull this plastic bag filled with three green fuzzies. I think they used to be lemons. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we, we would need a true scientist or something to come and check them. But so three moldy lemons in yeah. an open bag. Love mm-hmm. to see it. <laughs> Oddly enough, just want to intervene my own story and just say, Gary did uh, recently buy three exact lemons. And now here's the thing. I did buy those lemons from Trader Joe's, in fact. But <laughs> I don't Name know drop. how they went rotten so quickly. They had only been sitting there for like a week and a half. Maybe it was the fermentation process of being trapped. Yeah, I locked, think so. Locked behind. Yeah. yeah. And we just solved the case. But anyway, so I lift the bag up to dispose of the three mold balls <laughs> uh-huh. and the bag breaks from the bottom <laughs> and the three little puffs crash into the trash bag and explode in a powder, like uh, the mold powder. And it gets in my face and I'm breathing in and I, and I had just eaten and it was so hideously disgusting that I bend over over to you guessed it projectile vomit yeah and i throw up all over our kitchen floor onto the trash and mold <laughs> and i lift my head up really quickly and i got the fucking gash on that fucking table yeah, yeah. so then now i'm bleeding covered in mold and then i tried to like move this bowl to see if there was any more mold because yeah. you mm. guessed it the powder did get all over the, the table yeah right. <laughs> and then the bowl drops in my puke blood and trash <laughs> yeah so <laughs> and then i called my brother crying and i said i'm moving the fuck out of here yeah. i can't uh-huh. do it anymore yeah. right and then right. Gab- i told gabby and i was like i'm moving out and she goes mm, no you're not and- <laughs> And here's, and here's how I know that none of us are going anywhere v- soon mm. is you owe rent. Um, I, we're, none of us have, well, you kind of I have a job. Can't, yeah, but I can't Barely, open a credit card. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I froze it because thinking. Yeah. Didn't you owe rent or you just paid rent? I, I paid, I finally fully paid rent. Okay, mm. gorgeous. But the thing is, is that all of us are so broke. <laughs> to, okay, so here, just to paint you, if you guys are getting the picture. So she's not like, moving out. To, well, right now, but I gave myself a, a seven month plan. So in seven months, goodbye. But uh, <laughs> the main point is all of us combined, we have a combined a net worth score of 520. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Uh, like 520 uh, or $5.20. Five. Yeah. Well, that's our favorite. <laughs> the latter. But our credit score, yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe like a 420, but yeah. It, yeah. It's it's low. That's pretty good though. But here's yeah, the thing: yeah. we did get our landlord's mail. I don't know if I should say this. Oh, what I'm no, going to. This is funny. So yeah. I owe money to the IRS, right? right. Yeah. So you know, I'm always getting I'm always getting All flooded the real ones with these yeah. you right. know letters from the IRS, and uh, I open it up. And I'm like, I do not owe four thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> no. Way. Right. So I'm like, oh, now what in the tarnation is this? Right. <gasps> but then I'm like, why does it have our landlord's name on it? That's so tea. So no, our landlord's hell- mail somehow ended up with us, and he's making a minimum of fifty dollars payments a month huh. on basically five thousand huh. dollars. Mm-hmm. And just for color, he does have boarded up windows. He does have boarded up oh, windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that, I mean, does. I guess, and that's the story, really. And I guess that's the story. And if you that's guys didn't like it, then you can just turn this off because we're only going to be talking about that. Um, but uh, the benefit of your story, Honk, is that our floor was finally mopped after five years of never being touched. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to get silver positive, lining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mop the floor. Mm-hmm. Um, Much appreciated. Joy, we did talk on the podcast about how you did go to Africa and you left every single dish. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Joy, this, we did talk yeah. about this. So Joy, before <laughs> yeah. she went to Africa, was like, I'm going to take out every single dish that's ever existed in this house. I'm yeah. going to touch all of them. Throw. <laughs> touch all of them. She's going to touch. She's going to make things and she's going to throw the food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then she put them all in the sink. Right. We couldn't, we couldn't wash anything because we didn't pay our gas bill. <laughs> we didn't pay our gas bill. Which, which also we still have to do. I keep forgetting that we Are do you have to pay joking? it. Joking? No, Gabby, not joking. Just call. Yeah, we just. Oh, need to take so care of so, it. so the weight of the world's on my shoulders now. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Yeah, it actually is. <sighs> god. Just give us an IOU or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and I'll I send you. it to you. All right, fine. I'll, I'll go today. I'll go today. Right, here's the okay, thing: okay, if you thank guys, you. if y'all actually could see our power bill that we owe. <laughs> It's, I don't know how it's we've survived to, to this long land. to be on 
goodness. So, so we have some stories that we want to catch up on, and that's what we're going to do today. Oh, we're recording this because when you guys are listening to this, I am going to be in <laughs> New York. Really, Hong? Yes, Hong. Oh. Because um, I'm just going to announce it because it's already going to be happening. But um, Bianca is, I don't know if I told you that Bianca is going to be on the Colbert show. Holy shit. I know. She's going to be on their first live um, season. Wow. I know. Oh my God. Well deserved. I know. Pretty so cute, fucking right? cute. I love baby girl. So yeah. here's, so. Joy, we're going to, do you want to start off or you want me to start off? I started off last week. So you start off, I'll go and then Joy. Okay. And then Joy can rewind. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So here we go, you guys. We're going to get into it with some childhood punishments, AKA trauma city. Okay. Uh, hey, honkers and sweet Lee. Look at that. Aww. He's got an admirer. I spent my entire childhood being punished for being a difficult child because I wouldn't conform to my family's conservative Bible-thumping ideals of what children should and shouldn't do. I was an outspoken and curious child who asked any questions that came to their mind. So you do the math. I got in trouble a lot. Sorry, it's long. I got punished often. LOL. All right. The list of punishments I experienced are as follows. Getting hit with a yardstick... What, how, what's a yardstick? Bitch, it's, it's like a the, long... the three feet. Jesus, fuck. Yeah. My favorite time was when I was hit in the mouth with the yardstick repeatedly at four years old. Oh my God. You must for have been say, a bad kid. For saying Jesus Christ when I dropped a piece of ice on the floor. Oh my God. <gasps> four years old? You got fucking hit with a... So young. So little. Also, I love that we're doing childhood punishments and you're literally a nanny. So you can yeah. like weigh in like, mm. oh, I've done that before to my kids. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. This says... This does sound like something you would do to... Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. (laughs) Weeks of grounding starting at the age of 10. Everything electronic would be removed from from my bedroom, sometimes even my music, which is how I taught myself art, how to fix my hair, and how to do my own makeup. Because of all the alone time, I stayed grounded. Uh, The double braided leather belt. Fuck. Oh my God. (gasps) My barbaric. Why are like religious people... Like, like heavily religious, like, 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 like the fucking barbarians that right. like that they would like like go to the death, you know, uh-huh. with like fucking lashings. Yeah, and shit. the lashings. Yeah. Okay. Mm, my sister and I were both beat with my father's favorite belt, <gasps> which he swung like a whip. How fucking scary is that? Wow. You're a little girl and you and your your dad comes no. out with this fucking belt. He and he's like, here we go, it. girls. Yeah. Oh my God. Get it up. <laughs> I can remember times running away screaming because I couldn't take the pain of him swinging it against my legs as I laid down on my parents' bed. I've been hit everywhere on the body with that belt. It would sometimes wrap around my legs and arms because of the force he was swinging it. One time my mom even kept me home from school because she didn't want the world to see the perfect imprint of the bruises that the belt left on my legs. You could see it perfectly. Oh my fucking God. Woo! Uh, Off to a hot start. Actual fighting. I fist fought both my parents because the beatings would get so intense. Oh my God. You have to. Yeah, you feel like you're backed into a corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would get scared for my life. Most of the fighting on my end was defensive and trying to protect myself. But before the age of 18, I swung on both those motherfuckers. I have a story for another time about when my dad strangled me from the back seat as I was driving on the interstate. Holy shit. He was drunk, which caused me to almost crash the car on Christmas Eve. That one is wild. Email it. Yeah. You oh tonight. my yeah. God. Sitting in the corner as a small child. Uh, I lived in the corner with a crying laughing emoji. <laughs> And always had to stay longer due to making me, due to me asking to be excused from my punishment so many times. What the fuck were you doing? I mean, I know you didn't do anything that, you weren't doing anything bad, but like, what well, we the fuck? we don't know that. <laughs> That's true. When you, t- when you, uh, when you talked while in the corner, you had to stay longer. I always took the chance. Damn, okay, so they'd make them stand in the corner, mm-hmm. and then if you said anything like, "Can I please be done now?" or like, "What can we wrap it up?" Uh, like, all right, longer. I think yeah. that happened to me like a couple times, but my parents never did anything like huh. that. I never got grounded. Did Joy, you? Did you get, oh yeah, we needed to ask you. Did you ever get punished or anything? Um, there were times when I would be spanked and by yeah. my mom, but my mom wasn't ever really using much force, and mm-hmm. so yeah. I would look back at her. Okay, and I would say that didn't hurt. <laughs> I would look her in the eye and be like, that didn't hurt. Now, and Joy, then she you... would, wait, she'd be like, "My wait till your father gets home. Oh. And then my dad would chase me around the house. <laughs> <and> then, <laughs> it 
it was pretty gnarly. But no, no leather belt, like gladiator style. Like. <laughs> that didn't hurt. <laughs> I know. I was you so fucking sweetie. brazen. All right. All right. All right. That's good. Um, That's good. <laughs> It is. Okay, so taking my car away that I paid $2,000 cash oh in full for by working for it as a waitress from age 15 to 16. That she paid with her own money. Her mm-hmm. own money. Uh, my dad made sure the car was registered in his name and refused to put it in mine. <gasps> so that way he could use it as a way to punish me. And boy, wow. did he. Okay, abusive fucking parents. Controlling. I left home at 18 to live with my then awful boyfriend because home life was so bad for me. I was suicidal because I had no love or trust for my parents whatsoever. I had to go somewhere else. When I left home, my dad, of course, took my car and held it over my head for months. What a piece of shit. I eventually convinced him to give it back. Took years to get him to sign the title over to me. Silent treatment. Okay, nightmare. My dad would refuse to speak to me uh, uh, for up to three weeks whenever my grading report would come back with anything less than a B. That's so fucked up. Mm. I remember one time specifically, I was struggling in chemistry and I worked my ass off for a C. He saw it, said nothing, walked into the backyard and didn't speak to me for at least three weeks. Wow. Even if you would speak to him, he would pretend I didn't exist. Wow. That one has haunted the fuck out of me and probably the one I still struggle with the most in relationships to this day. That's so traumatic. Mm. I was going to say, like, obviously getting, you know, this girl was fucked up, but like uh, physically and obviously, you know, mentally. But I think the the psychological abuse lasts so much fucking yeah. longer. Yeah. And how ironic it is that they think that they're doing this to help form you into this like just this moralistic human yeah. and they are harming you so much more. Mm-hmm. They're like, I want you to get good grades and da 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 da. This is what just, you need to I'm gonna be yeah. you. It's like, bitch, I need a tutor. You're traumatizing me. The yeah. fu- that's so horrific. A silent treatment for three weeks and then him pretending that she doesn't exist. That's disgusting. And, and getting a C is probably due to like the overwhelming, like. Yeah, you can't. And maybe she just wasn't good at fucking chemistry, you know? Well, that too. Also, that the too. bitch is missing that class too. because the dad's wailing on her. So yeah. You just learn when you're fucking at home with right. daddy's belt. These imprint. parents are fucked. Um, also, that just triggered a memory of mine from an ex when he was really upset at me. He, I remember like running into him in public and he would say hi to everybody around me. And wouldn't even look at me. Would mm. just like look past me like it didn't exist. And that that it was that shit sucks. Mm. Yeah, that subtlety. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, that, yeah. Of, like not even acknowledging your existence. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So dark. Um all and right. coming from your parent. Like yeah. Right. Yeah. It would fuck you yeah. up. Wooden paddle. Simple on this Damn, one. Go. Go. Okay. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, there's more. Oh yeah. Simple on this one. I was regularly beat for my bad behavior with a wooden paddle from the age of at least four until I was around eleven, which is when my pops upgraded us to that sweet a leather belt. Oh. A fly swatter. <laughs> Simple on this one too. The punishment tool was normalized by my mom's family, and they all swung fly swatters at our arms and legs while chasing and oh. screaming us when we screaming at us when we misbehaved. Oh my God, house of fucking horrors. I think that's everything I can think of for now. I'm certain there are more things, but I'm still working through the trauma that was my childhood Mm. since my parents have zero regrets or see those experiences as a reason why I struggle to make romantic connections, trust Mm. anyone, or never feel safe. I have a toddler and Mm. vowed to not spank or physically touch my child in the name of punishment. Mm -hmm. It's a real struggle for me to work through not turning and yelling or grabbing him like I was grabbed and yanked around. Right. But I think I'm doing a great job ending this generational trauma. Good job, baby. We love to see it. Mm -hmm. Good job, babe. I can't even imagine spanking a child this young, but people do it. Yeah. I know my parents were physically punishing me starting at the age of three. Which That's is ex- disgusting. At three, mm. you're fine. You're still shitting your fucking you pants. You should have just aborted it then. If if you're gonna get that angry at it at three, because at three it's not doing anything. Well, some people believe that the children are born with sin. They really do believe. Yeah, that. they they believe they believe that children are born with sin. How? And. I mean, like if, it doesn't like if, make any sense, but it's just what they're taught. Like they're, if their parents are sinners, is that what you're saying? Like, No, like all children are innately born with sin. And then you go and do your like, like uh, baptism and stuff like that to, to like- rid you of your sin? Yeah, to like clean your slate. Hold on, I want to come back to this yeah. in one second. Um, 
okay. Old school conservative parenting needs to end. Corporal yeah. punishment is not for children. Let's love these kids the way they deserve and stop creating shit ass adults. Love the pod and Patreon. Please never stop making it and being yourselves. Mm. Lee, you said in the last episode that you talked too much during the pod, and I disagree. Aww. Your input is honest, kind, and super useful. Please Aww, keep participating. Lee. That's so sweet. That's so Unless Lee's gonna yell at us, then never ever <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's over there fucking seething <laughs> thinking about how he still needs to jack off um yeah wow he, he literally didn't hear your story girl because all he's thinking about is, is tentacles like going in and out of pussies but here's the thing that is <laughs> that was a wild story wow, wow. yeah that yeah. is so fucking sad i agree i agree with her that she said that like children need to be loved and and I think that children are naturally born abundant and we learn scarcity. We learn fear. Yeah. Like we learn these, these things in order to conform to the societies we're brought up in. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And so on top of that, all of this, like the conformity of those religions yeah. is even more confining to that expression. So the question is, do you think that kids need to be punished? I think that boundaries are important. Right. But Joy, you were just like, you were just saying about like, or I guess it was like three weeks ago, but you were saying with the kid that you watch, like we won't like say too much, but you were saying that like lately there was like some, some things that needed to be addressed, which is like, keep it like very vague, but like some yeah, things needed fine. to be addressed. And instead of punishing the child, because some of the things that happened, like were pretty like, not maybe a little bit short of jarring, but like a little like, oh, yo, like we don't do that in the home. But instead of like, punishing the kid you and the mom like kind of like teamed up and were like explaining why it was wrong or something yeah like so we don't we don't add any moral we don't moralize the mistake right right mm -hmm. we don't say oh we don't hit you know you just say you need a break because you hit mm -hmm. so, um, but you, and you don't explain why that no because he already knows that you're not supposed to hit you know what why I mean? do you think do you think that it's necessary. He's of the age now. Where you he know, knows like he's, that he he's hit. yeah, he's okay. You know, okay. he's four, so you know he knows that he's not supposed to hit. Okay, but when teaching a kid that they shouldn't hit, you have to explain to them why like, you can't oh, hit. Right? Yeah, me. that hurts me. Right. Okay. You know. Okay. Because naturally, children don't want to abuse each other unless they yeah. are. And unless then, they're and then growing you, up in that. Yeah. And then you or they're them learning back. that. Like, you fucking like that. Yeah. You, you bite them back. Like feels, yeah. yeah. Oh no! Fucking god. Right. <laughs> so, oh. okay, you were raised Catholic. Right. Did you, you had, um what the fuck is it? Like, a baptism? Or baptism, the first communion. Communion, yeah, you had right. all that shit. Right. And you went to Catholic school, right? Right, right. But it's not, like, glamorous, like, ooh, my good private <laughs> academy. It was, it was more, Fresno Catholic school. It was Fresno Catholic school where none of the teachers were accredited teachers. And oh, gorgina. That's what it they was, do, though. They get these unaccredited yeah. teachers into yeah. private schools. Right, 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 right. It was like, oh, right. Meredith loves the Bible, so get on yeah, in Yeah, yeah. Like, You're good with kids, right? I think so. So fucking wow. crazy. So yeah. these teachers that aren't actually teachers. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I learned the multiplication tables, like, Three years late, you know. My reading skills aren't very good. Now, Joy, when did you learn to make a grilled cheese? Ah! <laughs> now, that's the real question. <laughs> honey, in my sleep. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's that just that something fucking, I was born with. Honey, I, I natural talent. Grilled cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yum, yum. Um, at the end of the episode, stay tuned. Joy is going to teach us how to make pizza soup. So, <laughs> oh, we did talk about pizza soup. <laughs> yum, yum. We'll put the recipe. We'll include it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> All right. You ready, Honk? Hi. You two are awesome, and thank you for sharing your uh, your lives and whatnot. My parents divorced. You two are awesome. Which two? Could be Lee and Gabby. Could be Gabby and I. Could be Lee and I. We don't know. Okay. So we you got to say three, and you have to pinpoint who exactly you like and who exactly. Okay. You okay. Read. Jesus. That's, that's how you're going to piss me off. That's the how you're going to piss me off. Going uh -oh. Here's the thing. You're looking, you're, you're looking like Joe Dirt. Yeah, I'm just fucking looking like I'm a fucking crawdad fishing. Yeah, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's where this attitude is coming from. You think mm -hmm. you just went on a fucking fishing trip with your boys. Down the bayou. I did. Mm-hmm. I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. I wish you would. Oh, shit. Do the energy. With your waders on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My what? Your waders. Your, your, your. Clam, clam getting trousers. some catfish. Is that what they're clam trousers. <laughs> clam <laughs> trousers. <laughs> all right. Clam. All right. All right. Everyone, shut the fuck up and get back to work. All right. No, because now I'm gonna read it like a sim. Now, now. I want the fucking twisted whip so I can go. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Swinging it around. <laughs> yeah, she's in a bad mood because she has lice. Okay. <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah, I wish she would stop spreading it. Okay. And Joy has it too. Okay, my parents, I'm moving out. My parents divorced after seven years. Yeah, in seven months, I am. Fuck you. My parents divorced. I'm pocketing money. Um, my parents divorced after <laughs> we'll seven years. That's, that's, that's why I'm not paying. <laughs> My parents divorced after seven years of marriage during which I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at this bitch. Okay. My parents divorced after seven years of marriage during which four children were born. Brother seven, me, girl five, younger brother three and sister 18 months. My mom was 16 when she met my dad and was pregnant with someone else's baby. Whoa. She put that son up for adoption. Damn. He didn't Whoa. make the cut. Wow. <laughs> he didn't make the cut. He did. <laughs> so, oh, wow. So she was. <laughs> She was. She meets this guy. Is already and pregnant. She's pregnant. Yeah, with some uggo. <laughs> yeah, with some fucking uggo. Okay. How is what I'm saying wrong? She she got fucked by some fucking weird dungeon and dragon guy. I know while wearing the shirt. But here's the thing, <laughs> and no, no disrespect to them, but she got she got fucked by some weirdo. Yeah. The kid, he probably was looking like a little bit beat. She yeah. meet, she meets Mr. Cutie. Yeah. And she goes, Oh, I gotta get this. Tink I gotta of. get this beast out. I gotta get this. With, I gotta make go make a withdrawal. Didn't make the cut. Yeah. Like, yeah. He didn't. Draw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. technically the baby did make the cut however you want to see yeah mm-hmm. yeah, so, yeah okay, he, okay. Got, he got cut out of the family tree yeah. but okay easy um anyway so so much to unpack but basically my dad is a man child and never got over my mom leaving him and us he really only had two major rules don't call him from jail as he won't bail you out <laughs> wait okay. okay he won't bail you out yeah and don't come home pregnant okay okay but that's how you met the mom so kind of Kind of rude. Uh, not sure how one thinks this is a good. Uh, not sure how one thinks this is good parenting. But I guess when you're a bunch of messed up kids whose mom abandoned them, you're terrified of the other parent bailing too. So you basically put this person, put this person on a pedestal and worship them. So fucked. Anyways, he had his older sister move in to help take care of us while he worked. She was a cunt. <laughs> if I didn't, <laughs> we all left. If I didn't clean my plate of food. Food as a child. See, Joy, I told you I can't read. Okay. Okay. okay, I literally can't fucking read. Okay, if I didn't clean my plate, my plate of food as a child, she would legit make me sit at the table for hours in front of cold, disgusting peas. Mm. Eventually, I'd get away from the table, but if I asked for anything later, she was pulling out the peas, and that's what I got. Why the peas? I hate peas. Mm. It's always da- peas. It is peas. They if do. You, yeah. It's always peas. They if you think about it, this story is more abusive than the last one. In a um, way, yeah. I hate peas. If my dad thought one of us stole from him, we'd all be punished. There With was peas. no talking back. Yeah. Oh man. My he just dad throws peas at them. He would throw yeah, one by one. Yeah. My dad was a yeller, never hit us, just psycho insane yelling shit. Mm. One, well, you we should have been Scary. over to Miss Girl's house because it was a little bit different over there. Uh my uh what? just insane yelling. Well, the girl that was getting yelled at with the paddles. Oh yeah, okay. I'm comparing their traumas <laughs> and I'm making a joke that um, I get it now. Yeah. I get it now. Let me know if you want me to break anything else down. <laughs> um, if my dad thought one of us stole from him, just read that. Um, your fingers are covered in ash. Um, one time when we didn't do the dishes before he got home, he beat the fuck. Okay, here it is. Oh, well, he beat the fuck out of the dishwasher, pulling oh. it out from the wall, kicking it down the hallway, throwing it wow. down the, the yard and into the street. Oh, that's not very fucking useful. Hulk smash. Uh, he didn't get a dishwasher again until the last child moved out. Oh no. Holy fuck. The stories. Absolutely insane. What? I got scabies when I was 13. Gabby had literally no idea what they were. Granted. I sucked my first dick in a random forest tent a couple (laughs) weeks back. (laughs) So I guess we cracked the case. It's giving monkey pox. (laughs) We cracked the fucking case. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. The doctor said you could get it from shaking hands. Hmm. Hmm. The dad instead. <laughs> have you ever had scabies? No. Huh. Have now, you? Aren't they like little, like like yeah, they're like little fleas? mites. Yeah, I think they're mites that live in your skin. My roommate got them when I was in, and it's super when contagious, I was in college. Right? Did you get it? I didn't get it. Wow, I made it out because I, I heard they're so contagious. Yeah, I even I even rubbed his lotion on them and I never got wow. it. Wow. Oh, that's really like nice, skin. Lee. Because I'm clean. I take showers. I don't know. Oh, he wasn't a shower guy. He got it from some dirty bitch. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he got it from some some girl he was sleeping with. Was he not a clean guy? Is that how? I don't think she was clean. And then oh. he was sleeping in her bed, and that's when he got Ew. it. Ew. Ew. How often did he wash his sheets? I mean, how often do you wash your sheets? Not very often. Don't put the question on her. <laughs> if, if you heard any story we've ever told about Miss Bill Cheese. 
I wouldn't be. I, none of us really wash our sheets as I don't, much as we should. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't wash really. them often, and I need to because I, should I sweat as well. so much in my you sleep. You do. You do. Yeah, you do. You do so much that pee smells like your sweat. <laughs> I told them like, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. like I'm a sweat. Yeah, it's just smelling like a really smelly dragon. Yeah, yeah. Right. today is really it's smelly. Yeah. Yeah. It's smelly like it. Okay, it, it need meth. And by it, it mean you. Okay. Um, holy fuck, the stories. The dishwasher got fucked. You no, didn't. Da, wow, da, 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 that is wild. Had literally no idea what they were. Granted, I sucked dick. This okay. is what we're going to do to Joy if she doesn't do the dishes. Uh, literally, girl. Okay, the, <laughs> the doctor said, and then not you saying, well, I don't know about you. And I'm like, girl, I haven't used a dish. Okay. Anyway, um, mm-hmm, what? the dick wait, in the forest. Yeah, wait, what? The dick in the forest. <laughs> when you were trying to say that I'm the one that didn't do the dishes. Okay. The doctor said you could get it from shit. Stop looking at each other. You guys are bitches and whores. Okay. <laughs> You could get it from shaking hands. Gabby, listen up. Okay. But my dad instead tells me it's because I'm a fucking slut. No, that is why. Oh, ha, ha, that's joke's why. on you, dad. You huh. did raise a slut. Okay. Okay. I like her self-awareness, though. Yeah. yeah. We all had stuffed animals as kids. Right. And one time, my aunt took all of our <laughs> special toys, mine was a bear, and put them in the gar- in garbage bags and told us she threw them out. It's so mean. She hid them in the garage so and eventually cool. gave them back. That's I'm not sure so how people... Mean. It's. Can I say something? Yeah. Actually, it's too mean. No, I'm going to say it. This story, I'm sure that this is sad. Hmm. And, I, and I can tell that it is for you. But I'm just going to say, I feel like every time it's about to get sad... The like you know, there's a plot twist, and then it's actually not that bad. Like, oh, my dad was crazy, and there was yelling, and there was beating, and I'm like, oh no, the dishwasher got it. It's like, okay, well, it wasn't you, so we're all good. It's pretty sure that's pretty. No, that's pretty sure for him to rip it out of the wall to, and then yeah. throw it down the stairs and take it down the street. To experience shit, that really? that's like some PCP anger. shit. Yes, it's really crazy. That's like some. <sighs> And like, that's what I'm saying. It's like intense and that it's real. Yeah, it's traumatizing. This, yeah. <laughs> it is traumatizing. Okay, loopy loop back. <laughs> this, is, this is coming from Miss Amber Heard. So. Okay, you're the one that shits on everything. So you're fucking Amber Heard. Don't ever in my life. Okay, um, we all had stuffed animals. Uh, they just got thrown out. They didn't. I'm not sure. Stop raising. I can tell you're doing some fucking face right now. I'm getting pissed. <laughs> I'm not sure how people do this to kids. We were fucking traumatized and every single adult yeah. gave no fucks about how we were. There was no explanation, no apologies. It was just business as usual. So... Thanks for listening. I could really go on, but it's kind of depressing. Much love and happiness. Okay, now I feel like a cunt. Here's the thing. I love yeah, well. you so much. And, and well, okay, fuck you. Uh, anyways, um, I'm sorry that that happened to you. <laughs> yeah, and for them to be so manipulative with like the things that were just so precious to them. And the you know? hideous that you didn't have have um a fucking mom yeah so, so like you're abandoned- any parent hold on hold on so the yeah. mom like left the, the, when yeah, they were the young mom abandoned them Fuck. with a weird dad so wait and then the aunt moved in yeah. and then the aunt move in because the the dad and the aunt were probably fucking i'm that's exactly what i was thinking yeah yeah incest so we yeah. got incest so in- we've got yeah, child so we abuse have clearly incest your aunt was trying to fuck your dad oh i'm so sorry that you had to go through yeah this. that's, that's a fucking and horrible. Hiding, like your like your stuffed animals like your one little place of solace and like also like you know you're pretty young and you're going out and you're doing these things that's why you're going out because you're, exactly. you're trying to seek validation yeah. and you're, exactly you're looking for love in the forest and so you, you got are. scabies and said so you got scabies and that's the risk of not having like a supportive you know, family home or a safe space. Yeah. yeah. You like go out into these like unknown lands. And then the fuck are these people? Everybody's just like damaged though. It's just damaged people. That- and then it just keeps on and like, hurting other this dad, people. He probably didn't grow up being like, <laughs> when I got kids, I'm going to fucking rip a dishwasher. Yeah. No, like, he's, yeah. yeah he's, he was dad. a kid too. And you know, he, had he kids. learned all of these behaviors from somewhere, but on some Brene Brown shit, Not like to justify your trauma anything isn't done. your fault, but it is your responsibility. So yeah. let's mm-hmm. get to it. But I feel like therapy and all this didn't really become popularized, normalized, whatever. Yeah. Until very recently. Uh, right. Exactly. It's been going on, but like, and so I think it is our generation. That's really the, the ones that are. Yeah. And unfortunately our, the more spiritually aware person in a relationship has to do the more work. Mm -hmm. And that's what sucks is because when you are, are at the brunt of all of this trauma, Mm -hmm. you are the one who has to do all of this processing that is generations deep. Yeah. And you have to be like, Whoa, fuck. It's it's so heavy. And also like you have, like, I'm sure that uh, obviously she said it fucked her up, but like, you know, all you want, like, it's it's biologically programmed in mm, us to want, want our parents, and specifically our parents, like, val- yeah. or like whoever right. raised you's validation. And so it's like kind of hard that you have to make peace with yourself to not, 
you know, you, you're not ever going to get solace. You're not going to ever get <sighs> forgiveness. Did you ever forgiveness and you closure? need to forgive yourself <clears throat> before you can forgive other people. Mm-hmm. Because then once you can forgive yourself from reacting the way you did in the space that you were at, then you can have the space to forgive other people. Mm-hmm. And that's the hardest fucking thing to do in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see that? The thing that the thing that they did with a baby monkey Mm-mm. And they replay. Oh my god! It was this whole thing where they like, like they've done a lot of things with baby monkeys. Yeah, it was really sad. They like re- they replaced. They took away the mom. <sighs> they separated the mom and the baby, and they put something like like a stuffed animal, stuffed animal in there. But they would like hurt the little monkey <sighs> to see. I, it was a whole fucking thing, and I explained no, that terribly. No. But it was <sighs> it was Is, really. Were they trying to see if like the mother could feel the. When the baby was being harmed? No, they were trying to see how, like, it affected the monkey, how it would affect its growth if it was, like, oh, abused as a like baby. Like, its physical growth? Uh, uh, yeah, and again, it's, like, emotional. Like, how it how it carried out. Yeah, it was very dark. Wow. I listened to a podcast on it. Also, that whole story reminded me, it really brought something dark up for me. Mm. And I just want you guys to... Yeah. <laughs> When I was little, mm. I had my favorite stuffed animals. Mm. <laughs> and it's not funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no one's and laughing. my cousin, yeah. Jake, mm-hmm. would come over mm. and he would take my stuffed animals and put them in his pants and run around. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I would cry and I would cry and say, give them back. And he'd just laugh and laugh and just put them in his pants, fart on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they would scream from the inside. Help. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and he'd fart, and he'd put him in his, on his penis and on his butt. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, and then he would come into my room, and I had Blink One Eighty Two posters and Eminem posters, and he would draw tits <laughs> on them, and <laughs> yeah, black out their teeth. You're so strong. Thank you. <laughs> and I just, I just had to process that as well. Yeah, well, thank you. Podcast. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank sharing. You. Thank you for letting this be a safe space. Please. Yeah. yeah. No. Our pleasure. And I loved the pacing on the story. Yeah, I think everything was really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was really deeply. All I can do is laugh at it now because it's just, it was so painful. Yeah. You did, my favorite. You did, yeah, you did have, you did, you did have your universe. Yeah, my favorite Eminem poster, he drew tits on it. Aww. Yeah. How many tits? And were they like perky or droopy? They were like big tits. Yeah. Oh. And it was a shirtless picture of Eminem. He drew tits and yeah. Would take mm. my stuff down. Yeah. I'm really glad that we heard the story about the girl getting hit a lot mm-hmm. first so that it didn't get overshadowed by yeah, yeah. my pain. But also, yeah. I, Thank hope, you. I hope the girl who got, you know, beat to sin with that with different types of wood, I hope that you did listen and just pain really is subjective. <laughs> and I know that you thought that that was really bad, but. You Mine really, was equally as bad. Well, equally, I would say worse. Thank she didn't. You. She didn't have her favorite poster with degraded. Degraded. <laughs> that was. You yeah, know, it was really hard. Thank you for sharing that. Mm-hmm. You're and if so you guys, welcome. Just, just for future reference for yeah. all of you out there, like who who write in. This is the <clears> type <throat> of uh, of vulnerability. Don't right. cry. No. <laughs> I know I'm not. No, don't think of it the just tits. Took so much. Don't it think of the so t- yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I would touch you, but I heard that you can get scabies through touching hands, so I don't want to. Joy, you're very brave. Thank you, Joy. I needed that. Yeah. Sorry. No. All right. <laughs> Do we think we can? If, if this no, is now, let me now let me pass the torch on to you, Queen. Okay. So you're not going to read the name, obviously. We keep yeah. everything anonymous. Yep. Okay. But, but uh, we do read the email. No, I'm just going to. I'm going to say address. Nice. All right. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Honks and Hentai Lee. <laughs> when I was 13, we went trick-or-treating on Halloween. Why are you reading like that? Uh, uh, <laughs> Go New Zealand. When I was 13, we went trick-or-treating on Halloween, and after we're done, we went to Barnes & Noble. It's going to be a story about rape. <laughs> where I bought a book for myself. On the car ride home, my dad apparently didn't like what I had to say. So my punishment was he was taking away my bag of candy. No big deal, so many except on. I put my new book in the bag to carry it inside. They took the bag away once we got inside and put it in the downstairs closet. I wanted to read the book before I went to bed. Hmm. So I went to get the book from the bag and told my dad that's what I was doing, that I just wanted my book. I loved reading. Oh, He grabbed me and we scuffled. 
My bitch of a stepmom got knocked down in the process. Oh, wow. Bonus, I guess. Um, so after that, he took my phone that my mom and stepdad gave me and wouldn't let me call my mom to come pick me up. Instead, he pushed me outside in the cold Aww. and locked the door while my bitch stepmom took my little stepsister upstairs and locked themselves in the master bedroom. Oh, my God. Ew. Uh, like, y- uh, you don't know what to do. You're just, like, outside, isolated in the cold. The like you don't have. like, I'm, come on, sweetie. We're going yeah, up to our room. Uh-huh. Away from safe. him. Yeah. Yeah. I yelled every obscenity I knew at 13 years old through the door. And finally, when he determined I had calmed down, he let me back in. But the fun wasn't over yet. Oh, man. Hey, you're not a fucking dog. You're I not know. A pit bull, dude. God. My sister used to do this to me. That's funny. But it was different. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, please. Okay. He called the cops on me. It's in all caps. While well, on the phone. She was 13. Oh, my is it, God. Is this is a guy, right? <clears throat> yeah, this is a guy. Oh, this is a guy. It's a guy. Okay. Yeah. While on the phone, he asked if there was any, if there were, if there was any weapons in the house. Oh, this is the, sorry. The dad okay. called the cops on yeah. the kid. Okay. While he was oh. on the phone, he asked if there were any weapons in the house. He said they had a block of knives in the kitchen, which he'd put away. He didn't, but I wasn't going to stab him or anything. The cops show up and talk to my dad and bitch stepmom. And then me separately. But my dad refused to press charges. Cut to a couple months later, while my dad didn't press charges, the bitch-ass state prosecutor decided to. So we had to go to court, and I got a deferral, which meant I had to behave until I turned 18 or I'd go to jail. And you're, like, already in this prison, in this house with... All because of your little Barnes & Noble book. Yeah, and you just wanted to read it. Mm. Never went to juvie or jail. A couple years later, I was a sophomore in high school. I'd act out at school on the Monday after I'd been at my dad's for the weekend. Okay. So I decided to cut him out of my life completely until I graduated. That's healthy. That's healthy. I didn't see him or his side of the family until the night I graduated in the top 15% of my large high school class. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Congratulations. That's a huge, that's, that's great with all that stress in your life. I will never forgive him to his face for what he did that Halloween and his bitch wife isn't a bitch anymore. She hit the back of her head on the corner of the flat screen TV as she was standing back up and later had a stroke. Cause she did. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you, Joy. (laughs) Joy's having one right now. <laughs> it sounds like Harper when she was fucking pulling know, out the lemons the other day. I'm surprised I didn't get a stroke. <laughs> so, okay. Stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is our okay. sociopathic um, <laughs> Later had a stroke because she didn't go to the doctor right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm okay. I'm on your team. Okay, um, she asked me the other week, um, you like me more now that I have? (laughs) Oh, my God. 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 Okay, she said, um, she said, (laughs) she said, um, she asked me the other week, you... (laughs) You like me, you like me more now that I have brain damage and I'm not such a bitch anymore, huh? And I just laughed. (laughs) Readers, she was right. I do like her more now that she's not such a bitch. (laughs) Holy shit. Love and light, honks and lee. Put your pants back on and stop coming in your cat's litter box. Yes! (laughs) Wait, oh my God, what a gorgeous ending. (laughs) Fucking, she got a stroke from hitting her head on a fucking TV. Uh huh. Got brain damage. <laughs> yeah. And she was fucking nice. Yeah, self aware enough know, to be like, hey, wow. You, you like me a little bit more. more. <laughs> so did, okay, does that go to yeah. show? Does that go to show that, like, if your brain is rearranged a little bit, yes, that it can totally. completely, th- like, yeah. change your personality? It's plastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. if, like, you, it's the fact that it's, like, formid- formidable, formidable? What? Formidable, formidable, 
formidable. Like you can shape your brain like by changing patterns oh, in your yes, life. Yes, Do you yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so if you have like a, a dead malleable. malleable, that's the word. Oh, no, education, malleable. education. Yeah. I can't remember anything. I'm but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> But yeah, yeah so you, you if, can... if if something is turned off, then like I think that well, okay. So when people, when certain people get um, brain aneurysms or when they get tumors mm-hmm. and it starts to swell in their brain, their personality starts uh, changing, or yeah. sometimes they'll start developing new interests or new talents. Mm-hmm. And I've even heard it happening from some people that get like really horrible seizures. Like so, when some seizures, because mm-hmm. seizures cause brain damage every time you get them. <laughs> And so anytime, anytime, (laughs) sometimes when you get like a really horrific one, Mm. it can alter your brain Mm. with 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 a stroke, like the blood vessel pops and then you don't have blood flow to certain areas. So it opened up the more empathic side of her brain. Who knows? Or maybe she realized that like with her disability, because like sometimes if you have a stroke, you like lose a certain part of your body Mm -hmm. that like maybe she she had to come to, yeah, come to God moment. Maybe she did. (sighs) <sighs> wow. Uh, the abuse that people, that kids endure. No wonder we're all so fucked up. I know, we're all just walking we need to around. Have, yeah. yeah, we're all just yeah. walking around all fucked up. And we like, you know, and we're always all like mad at each other. And people are fucking assholes on the road. And uh, like are, the girl I was talking. Okay, you yeah. guys. Okay, so I, I worked out this morning. And um, I was walking into the the little studio or whatever. And I'm signing in for, for the class. And this woman walks in and she says her name. And the receptionist goes, oh, you're new here. Can you please, can you please fill out a form? Right. And the girl goes, I'd rather probably work out. Yeah. And literally, Lee, it was crazy. She takes her phone and th- chucks it at the, at the receptionist. The receptionist flinches and catches it. She's like, wait, what? And she's like, all my info's right there. You can fill it out. And then she walks behind the desk. And I'm just like, I'm just too stuck. I wish I would have said something. I don't even know what I could have said. But it was your mittens that were like, ooh. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. well, yes, I'm really afraid of monkey pox. So I wore mittens to go to this workout class. Yeah, she wore I didn't want to fucking touch. You she had her full mask. baklava. That yeah. was- baklava, bitch. What? Isn't it? Wasn't that what it's called? Isn't baklava dessert? It, it is. Dessert. What is it called? The balaclava. That's okay, what it is. Uh, the head to toe. Yeah. You were eating baklava. Mm-hmm. But this woman, and then she walks behind the counter and then like looks at the woman's computer screen and then it was just, and ju- it just was sassing the receptionist and then just like walks in. I call her a cunt and then she walks <laughs> into the reception. I go, well, that one was a cunt. And then she walks back out and keeps her eyes on me as she grabs the towel and walks back in. I was like, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. We're both Everybody's just walking mm-hmm. around. But I was like talking to them this morning and I'm just like, what the fuck, you know, happened to this woman to make mm-hmm. her such a ginormous bitch? Yeah. God, so many people have endured is such intense childhood trauma. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we're never, we're never going to know everyone's stories. No. Okay. Hey, honks. Um, I discovered your podcast a couple of months ago, and I love it. Hope my story isn't too late. I was going to send it uh, the weekend, but got COVID instead. Yay. Oh. No, you're all good, honey. As, as a little intro, my mom had mental health issues when I was growing up. She's now healthy and admits some punishments were a shit idea, but they make for some juicy tea time tales. <laughs> so I'm the oldest of my mom's four kids. And was born a strong, loud, and independent little bitch. (laughs) Before my mom realized bribery was the only way to get kids to do stuff, I'd been subjected to a few different physical punishments and would always rebel against it when it happened. When I was seven or eight in the mid-90s, my dad lost his shit when he found out my stepdad was smacking my oldest brother and I. He had this attitude like, they're my children to hit, not yours. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah, fuck. Yeah, territorial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as an alternative, my mom decided to not hit us directly. Instead, she introduced the worst, worst yet classic punishment of smacking us on the hands with a wooden spoon. And of course, this infuriated my dad, and I agreed to call him the next time it happened. I even stole a 20p coin in advance so I could run to the phone box at the bottom of the street whenever the wooden spoon next made an appearance. Skip to skip forward two to three weeks after my snitching, after my snitching, and my mom was picking me up from school. She had this very distinct expression on her face that she would only get when she was crazy mad. That's mm. the fucking angry mom face is the funniest thing. It is the funniest thing. <laughs> my mom's lips all get all tight and small. Yeah. I swear yeah. to God, Gabby. Yeah. Um, as we walked away, I was informed. 
I was in so much fucking shit for this mystery thing I'd done that had caused a load of trouble. It's always a mystery thing. We got out of the school gates and she starts saying things like, do you want to get taken away from me? Is that what you want? Do you want to go into a fucking foster home and have my my kids taken off me? Are you trying to put me into the hospital? Because I swear to God, it won't be long off. That was in my mom's voice. Turned out my dad had called social services on my mom and they'd paid her a visit to ask her what was going on with these spoons. (laughs) I shouldn't laugh, but God damn, did that feel like sweet, sweet revenge as a kid. And I didn't get in any shit later. And I didn't get in any shit later because I guess it scared my mom or she took a moment to reflect. Either way, the spoon stayed in the drawer from the the drawer from then on. Bonus punishment short tail. (laughs) When I was about 11, my mom once got so sick of me and some huge fight we were having that she locked me in the garden shed for half an hour until I calmed down. <laughs> wow. Nice. Okay. Bonus punishment. That's going up in here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Bonus punishment short tail too. Those expressions about banging people's heads together. Well, my mom actually did that to me and my brother two oh or three God. times. Oh, my God. Ah, and fuck, did it hurt so fucking bad? If she <gasps> said, carry on and I'll bang your heads together, <gasps> we would run in the opposite direction immediately. <sighs> Ow! This imagine is a, this is a sick bitch. Taking oh your fucking God. kid. Imagine your mom did that to you and Jeremy. No. Oh my God. No, that's horrible. Cause like you're both you and you're both feeling Ow. pain. And your heads are so hard. Ow. That's just so bizarre. What a bizarre disgusting punishment that's so weird also oh fucking not, I mean, locking a kid in like solitary confinement that is just yeah so that's also torture yeah. yeah my mom would do that in my to me in my okay i don't know if i said this on the last episode but a unique a unique way my mom would punish me was that um i would always get my door taken off but when i was punished mm. and i did have my drawer or my door taking uh what the fuck am i saying okay they would either take my door off or if they left the door on They would take my phone, laptop, like whatever away. And then my mom would uh, give me a book and I had to read the book for like the weekend and I had to finish it by the end of the weekend. And I couldn't like, you know, I had no computer or anything to like look up what the book was about. So I actually had to read it and I had to like give her like a mini book report and tell her what the book was about. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's such a nightmare. I know. It was kind of fucking weird. But here's the thing. I fucking love to read. So I was like, this is weird and annoying because I would rather be out fucking off but yeah. okay i'll fucking read yeah okay i, I honestly got bullied into reading the twilight books because that's what she would give me honestly they were so good though i was like okay you're giving me porn yeah. really quickly i want to give a little <laughs> shout out to this girl who drew this fucking cute ass picture of us she emailed this to us oh my god right yeah, here that's so um, cute girl you're a good artist wow so that cute is so cute and sweet will you will you forward it to me and i can put it on yeah, yeah. You're a good fucking artist. We should I'm like, print that out and put that in here. Oh my that's god, that's really cute. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. Yes. You're, she's so good. I wish I could draw like this. Do you this. have her Insta handle to shout out? Let's see. Her name. I'm. Can I say her name? I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, Allison Lodato. Thank you so much for this cute ass fucking picture. And is that the one who just whose story you just read? Or no. Just, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, you were in the shed, but you can draw. Allison Lodato. Okay. Allison Lodato. No, she didn't uh, write a story. So she cute. sent us this. I have so a question. Cute. Are we only doing childhood punishment stories? Uh, that's yeah. just what I have a bunch of leftover yeah, from. Yeah, it oh, appears. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is pretty much childhood yeah. punishment too. Round two. Yeah. yeah. But also Round. we could read oh another God, one. Oh a guest too. Yeah. Gag me. Oh, two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have any closing um, thoughts for that that story before I read mine? Um. I think we had moved on with. The, okay, with Gabby's the on TikTok. No, <laughs> I'm looking. We have a vacation story. Okay. Oh, that's fine. If you want to read it for the next catch up. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna stick to childhood punishments. No, oh, okay. Well, want to give the uh, the vacation story to Joy, to, and we close with it. Oh, cute. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And that's on Lee loosening up the reins and not letting <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah. Okay. And that's on him finally getting in a good mood. Okay. Um. Or he's gonna beat us with a wooden stick. Okay. <laughs> Hey, honks. I have some crazy stories for you on this week's uh, prompt, LOL. So growing up, I immigrated to Canada as a refugee when I was five with my mom and two brothers. My mom came alone since my dad is from Iraq and had a hard time getting his entrance visa to come to Canada. So my mom came alone with three kids. None of us spoke a word of English 
And she was alone in a foreign country. So you can imagine it was very hard for so her. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, so I understand and empathize for the stress she was under when she did come. Um, sorry. So I understand and empathize for the stress she was under when she did some of the stuff I'm about to describe. Um, so I was five and my brothers were six and 12. And when you come to Canada, the government puts you up in government assisted housing for immigrants, um, which is literally a super sketchy motel with Mm. actual literal bullet holes on, uh, in the side of the building. Okay. Vintage. Love it. Um, it was sketchy as fuck. Our neighbor at this motel was a sex worker whose kids we would play with when we were young. My mom, it's good. It's giving Florida project. Yeah. My mom was almost stabbed in the kitchen when she was trying to make us breakfast one morning because she was taking too long (gasps) to cook pancakes. Anyways, who almost stabbed her? Yeah. The neighbor? No, just someone. Someone in this motel. (laughs) Oh my God. Okay, iconic. It's pancakes, bitch. Iconic. Wow. Relax. It's not waffles. They take a little bit longer, you idiot. Okay. Um, (sighs) Anyway, so you can imagine the vibe. Uh, So my mom kept telling us to stop hanging out with the sex worker's kids because she didn't feel like it was safe for us, and we wouldn't listen. So one day, she threw my six-year-old brother against the wall so hard, his glasses broke off his face. Oh, no. Oh, he's six. Joy, this is going to make you cry. Okay. (sighs) One day, when I was eight and my brother was nine, we went to a movie theater, and we were in the backseat driving home, and one of us spilled a Coke in the car. So my mom freaked out and accelerated, screaming at us as she was that she was going to kill us all and drive into a telephone pole. <laughs> Sis, it's a fucking coke. Relax. Like, bitch, bitch, calm down. Oh okay, fast forward to when I was 12, to 12 or 13. I was being a typical shithead teenage girl. At this point, my parents were able to buy a house. We lived in a cute suburb, the Canadian dream, LOL. Sidebar, crazy that the back... That back in the 90s, you could literally be a family of refugees working, delivering pizza, and work your way up to owning a five-bedroom home. Mm. Not so much for our generation, but I digress. So I'm like 12 or 13 and being an asshole, and my mom is always messy. So one day, my mom goes, if you don't clean your clothes up, I'm going to light them on fire. So I go, okay, go for it. Uh, And she literally uh, 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 goes into the garage and gets a jerry can of gasoline uh, and pours them uh, all over my clothes and is holding a lighter threatening to light Uh, our literal house on fire. So I cleaned up. That is the definition of don't play with me and fuck around and find out. Uh, Yeah, Yeah, right. And your clothes are going to fucking smell like gasoline. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. That's not going to just wash out all Uh, uh, willy-nilly. It probably stains too, right? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Google the the chemical makeup of gasoline. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. (laughs) We said, I bought it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at again. That was spooky. I, I like it when we have nice Harper. Meat Harper gives me the spooky wookies. Okay. So anyway, back to the story, Lee. Um, my mom would also often flip tables like the uh, like wow. the entire dining table. Oh okay. my God. She's this, really mom, strong. Yeah. Is she on PCP? Oh she, my God. Uh, Jesus. Well, th- this mom should link up with dishwasher dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Arm wrestling competition. Team, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. She would end up, um, she would flip the entire dining table. Wow. She would be sitting there like piss and then out of the blue, she would literally like flip the entire Entire table. Oh my like this god! She's just sitting there stewing. Yeah, like this happened so many times. We would joke about it, like, "Haha, mom, what are you? What are you gonna do? Flip the table?" Uh, Lmao. Uh, I got. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus. I love that y'all can laugh about this. Okay. Right. I got the fuck out of that house asap. Like I yeah. moved out at seventeen to a different city and never went back. Wow, that's to brave. This, to this day, eleven years later, I have never moved back in. I barely <laughs> even visit. Uh, I bar- uh, barely even visit like being around my family for more than like two to three days is really hard for me honestly wow. two to three hours and that I'm tapping sorry, out sorry baby um, as an adult I always thought I had a good childhood which is hilarious because in therapy I would get asked about it and be like yeah my childhood was fine that's it's kind of irrelevant let's talk about my current issue it mm. wasn't until like a year ago that I realized how much damage growing up in that house actually did to mm. me I currently have pretty bad anxiety. I function daily between a seven to eight, 
slash 10 anxiety at all wow. times. Jesus. Growing wow. up in a really toxic and emotionally vi- volatile household basically made me feel like I was never safe. Ugh, but to be honest, yeah. I would say I'm very, I'm a very happy person overall. I love my life now. I have Aww. a great career, an amazing man in my life who makes me happy. I feel very fulfilled. But yeah, those childhood punishments really did a number on my mental health, El Mayo. So anyways, I don't even blame her fully, to be honest, because I couldn't imagine moving across the world with three kids, not speaking a word right. of English yeah. and trying to right. scrape by to put food on the table. Yeah. Right. Anyways, love you guys. You're not sevens, by the way. You're fucking 17s. And Lee, can go come in his, <laughs> and Lee can go come in his cat litter. I'm done with him. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> so that was a poetic ending. <laughs> that was a poetic ending. Yeah. Watch wow. Out now these come try and that is you. really okay. intense, though. It is because I mean, Ellie, coming over as a refugee. I mean, yeah. the the layers to that. So many fucking. Layers. I like that she's like, you know, my mom had this excuse, you know, and it was painful and I don't like being around her, but I understand mm. her. And it's, it's giving a lot of, like, you can tell, you can hear self-awareness, the, the, the therapy. therapy. Yeah. But then these other people, like their parents are like born and raised like in Louisiana or whatever the fuck are like, you know, fucking Iowa. And then just like getting slap happy. And it's like, fuck no. If you don't have a backstory that warrants it, <laughs> you don't get to, that was the takeaway I was You don't at. get to have, yeah. there's no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? We'll, 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 All we'll, right, we'll close on this. Fucking reason. All right, this is a vacation story. Well, just came back from holiday. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Hawks and Hentai Lee. We see a pattern. I love it. I love it. So it makes me laugh when, like, when we had Alex on and he was reading Hentai Lee and now like Joy's reading Hentai Lee is really making me laugh. <laughs> and the, cat, it's the fucking cat litter. And, the hentai, and I'm not kidding. I can't tell what's a joke anymore. <laughs> what's what? I really can't tell. Hentai Lee needs to be followed up with. <laughs> so. Did he make that up or was that written? Uh, Written. Um, I hope I got it right. Um, (laughs) yeah. So my story is kind of a slutty love story. Ow. I guess we were off to a good start. You know what I mean? (laughs) I took myself to Europe for my birthday before COVID. I went to a few different countries. One of the places I visited was Paris. Oh, (laughs) Chante. Everyone told me not to stay longer than a couple of days because apparently Paris sucks. So I only booked oh book two days. No. I've never been. It's lovely. It's okay. Lovely. I trust you. Before I left, I set my hinge location to Paris with the intention of just having someone to show me around a country where I didn't know the language. So much easier right. when you have that. I ended up setting on a settling on a guy that had a motorcycle to live out my Lizzie McGuire dreams, yeah. obviously. I do love that. I almost backed out because of jet lag but i said fuck it good girl and had him pick me up for an from my airbnb holy shit he was the hottest man i have ever seen in stop. my life stop think a more built manly or slightly tattooed in french orlando bloom mm. we ended up going to eat nearby and honestly it was a pretty shitty meal <laughs> But oh. hey, <laughs> we got a bottle of wine and we drove his motorcycle down along the Sien. Okay, drinking and driving. Is that? Yeah, the yeah, Sien. Yeah. Next to the Eiffel Tower. Wee oui, wee. Oui, oui. <laughs> yeah, okay. To finish the bottle of wine, there's a shitload of really cool boats docked along the river and I suggested we hop on one. There was no one around and we just ended up killing this wine on some ran- random's boat watching so the Eiffel fun. Tower uh, while I blew him. Oh, oh really? yeah. Just sucking his dick on a boat. <laughs> yeah. Like, Obsessed. Okay, now we're talking about uh-huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was Valentine's Day. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Okay. This is yummy, yummy. Mm-hmm. This is a good fucking... Now, mm-hmm. now we're talking A24. Yeah, mm. we honestly are. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. I ended up leaving Paris to go on the rest of my journey, but I really liked this guy. So I literally flew back for five days to stay with him. And we had this wonderful little week long romance of dancing in nightclubs, great sex, conversation, anal, and anal. Wow. (laughs) Well, when in Paris, why not? Yeah, yeah, when in Paris. Mm -hmm. No, you can't can't escape anal. The Eiffel Tower is inspiring. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. (laughs) Looks like a butt plug. Damn. Hmm. No? No, I wouldn't say butt plug. 
and he'd even make me. <laughs> Not, not that kind of voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> didn't want to give her that one. Uh, and he <laughs> and he'd even make me breakfast and tea every morning while wrapping me in a warm robe. Like what the fuck? Okay. Hot. okay. Honestly, alert. honestly. Well, if you're taking his hog up the ass, then the least he can do is wrap you up. True, yeah, true. true. Well, you didn't describe true. the hog. Though. A blanket, Did he have baby. a big hog? <laughs> huh? I wonder if he had a big hog. Oh, we haven't heard. We haven't heard. Um, when it came time for me to leave, we were both very emotional, and I would think of him for quite some time after. Truly, what a whirlwind. I started taking French lessons to surprise him because I had planned to travel back to Paris to see him multiple times, but my flights were all canceled because of COVID. I am so anxious to hear the end of the story. <sighs> anyway, I try to look at at it as one of those moments that are best kept in that moment. And he's probably a love bombing narcissist that does it does this to everyone. Can you tell me I'm jaded from that one? From one? Mm. Oh, yeah. You can tell I'm jaded from that one. Uh, unfortunately, I met a really terrible narcissist that year that ruined my life until literally a month ago. But you know what? That's on growth, baby. Attached a photo of the French Orlando Bloom took of me after I blew him on the boat for effect. <laughs> <laughs> Best Valentine's Day ever. Happy happy 30th birthday to me. You guys rock. Your podcast has literally pulled me out of this BS I've been dealing with with my narc ex and regaining some confidence. Keep it up. I wish he sent us a picture of you blowing him. I know. That would be <laughs> the next time one of y'all is sucking dick in a safe space, send us the picture. I don't want, I don't want any shit. I don't want any fucking scaby shit. But I, I, I do. I, no, I don't want any monkey. Yeah, send that to Gabby. I want that. Whoever <laughs> sends in that fucking decayed <laughs> foot, that bitch still sends that it out. God. I put that decayed foot, foot in the group chat. I know, and I blocked. I blocked Gabby when she kept sending it to me. I, was I haven't so seen mad. it. It's but really showing. It's really bad. Send us a safe dick. Send us a fucking pic. Yeah, we love it. Or taking the Eiffel Tower up the butt. Asking just for straight up amateur porn. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, Lee. Yeah. Call the cops. It's a little okay. fuzzy of a line, eh? Are yeah. You, are you gonna arrest <laughs> us? Yeah, Lee. Not, are you gonna call no. the cops? I'm just, I'm just clarifying. A cab, Lee. I'm just clarifying. Uh, well, a cab. Uh, testing, testing. Now you guys are just asking for the uh, amateur porn. <laughs> okay, Lee. We're asking for a fun time. <laughs> hey, Lee, it's fun. God. It's the summer, Lee. It's, I can ask for amateur porn sense. if I fucking want it. Wait, is there, <laughs> this, is there, this is there is, something else at the end? Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I had to come back to say that the rant about stable calves made my life. <laughs> my horrible narcissist ex had the tiniest calves no. and he was so insecure about them. So I think we can all agree that unstable calves equal unstable, abusive, insecure, pussy yeah. ass bitch yeah. man. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Joy, I went on a rant on the podcast about how if like a man doesn't, I, I was trying to say sturdy calves uh -huh. and I said stable calves. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear funny. it coming out and it was wrong, but I was like, yeah. I have to just stay strong. So I was like, I was like, if a man doesn't have stable calves, like I'm not taking his last name. <laughs> wow, it's so crazy how I don't remember yeah, yeah, any yeah. of this. Well, it's not that crazy. Calves. You don't. You, 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 I don't remember anything. Yeah, I don't remember no, anything. That's not that crazy. But that story was honestly a. This great was hot. Yeah, yeah that, that was. This was really hot. hot. Sorry about your narcissistic ex, and you <sighs> probably are right on nailing the French guy as a narcissist. Yeah, but uh, here's the thing: that shit feels so fucking good. Yeah, it's so the, fun. It's really oh. funny. I had a really similar thing happen when I went to Paris. It was for like three or four days, and I met this girl, and we had this like whirlwind, yeah. like romance thing. And then when I was leaving, she got me like a, like boxes, huge boxes of like really nice chocolates, like amazing perfume, and then we stayed in contact. And I started trying to learn French, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, this is, love. this is my love. Yeah. And then over the pandemic, I reached out to her and I'm like, Nadia, like, oh my God, I really think we have a beautiful connection. Like the second that flights are allowed, like I'm coming to, I'm coming back. And then she was like, oh, I think we should love each other from afar. And I was like, oh, Wait, yeah. really? T. And then she's like, I don't think I translated it right. That's like not exactly what I was saying. And now to this day, she still hits me up. And I just, I'm like, sorry I don't about know. it. I was like, that sorry, was kind of, that kind of made me feel like. Oh shit! Put so, out my fire. The, the uh, the yeah, you know, the fucking love bombing thing. That shit is really fun. Mm. In the beginning, it's so fun. You're in like, the beginning. Oh. Cinderella, this bitch. Yeah. Like, 
you're like, am I the fucking baddest queen in the world? Yeah. And then you get hooked and you're like, oh, it's empty. Okay. Got right. it. Yeah. Oh, it's abusive. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I guess that concludes this today's uh, episode. That was our Gorgina Woo! episode. Joy, I'm so happy we had you on. Thank this is you. So cute. Lee, I'm happy that we addressed you yelling at us. Don't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, we do love to see it. You guys, um, send this to someone who, you know, got beat with a paddle. Send this to, oh my God. You know what we're going to address? Okay. Hmm. Never mind. But I, for all these people that got spanked, mm. I wonder how that, sorry to be weird, but I wonder how that like affected them sexually. Oh, I, mean, I was you know, thinking about mm. that. Yeah, but especially the girl know. who like, was getting like super beat. I'm like, that was so fucking awful, but it started happening at like four and three. Yeah. And so I wonder if like she developed like, like a, like a spank kink or mm, like, that a, like a degrading kink. Yeah, or, or, right, like, or right. severe intimacy issues. Yeah, that shit. Well, that's real. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. So that's the end of the episode. <laughs> um, sorry to take you guys down a dark path, but LOL, we love all your stories. Thank you so, so, so much for sending them in. Um, Gabby, do you want to say something else besides just jiggling your hands like a fuck head? <laughs> no, or? no, no. Join the Patreon. Uh, we have lots of tears. We've got, I don't know why I'm looking at you for the answers. Because <laughs> you're always looking in these eyes for the answers, honey. No. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. We want you for, did you just say the $10? No, no we I didn't say that at all. Yeah, yet. okay. Sorry, I was reading an email. Um, businesswoman. Yeah, the screen's literally black. She it's not black. I just, got, <laughs> I just got details from my flight information this weekend. I'm going to Portland and I had to leave the flight. Um, okay, so no we've no got... No we've got tiers. We've got a $5 tier where you just listen to our basic Patreon. We love to see it. It's fun. It's cute. We've got a $10 tier for Patreon, which is called the Honk Off. You can <laughs> leave us cute. a voicemail. You have access to live show recordings. Ah, you're going to want to watch the San Diego one. It's really fun. And uh, the first access to merch drops. We have merch coming. Ooh. Very excited. Yeah. Merch is coming very soon. We're working with some very talented artists. Oh, We're so God. fucking excited. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. And then there's a top tier honk. Yeah. And that's $20 a month. And this is only for the elites. This is for the one percenters. This is for the prettiest people. <laughs> it is no is for the Wow. Yeah. exclusive email address to email your stories it gets VIP treatment you want it on Patreon okay baby we got you you want it on the regular sto- you want it on the the fucking you know the one for the, the regulars which you're listening to now yeah. for the freeloaders for the, the poor freeloaders and the poor <laughs> <laughs> wait really yeah, Joy, really on. quickly really quickly if yeah. you fucking want us oh. to read your stories you can you th- we're, if you have something that you really want us to read on this podcast join our fucking Patreon and we and like and tell us when you want it to be read because we can't have you guys like emailing us over and over and over and over again being like read my story read my story read my story that's what this top tier is for if you guys really want your story read join for just a month and you get ex- you get uh, access to this exclusive email that we Cause, right because here's here's another thing and I'm sorry that we have to be mommy honks right now yeah. on you guys but sometimes sometimes our little junior honks our little honk, honky juniors uh, they get a little rowdy so we have, we have to crack down on you. The, you know, the DM, we, we love your DM. So th- that is not the issue, but it's when you're like, read it, read it, read it, read it. It's like, yeah. honey, why do you think we're comedians? Because we literally hate authority. So don't, and do you hear what happens to Lee when he tries to tell us what to do? I'm not too yeah. pretty. So if you so, do really want your stories read, <laughs> you know, subscribe to the Patreon and yeah. we will do it then. But we're not, we can't, because we can't take everybody that's like, read the story because then we'll never get, you know, like that's just not, it's not and fair. especially if you, if, if you're, yeah, yeah. Because here's the thing, we we really do, you know, make this as fair and as equal as possible. Yeah. But, you know. So, and we, a lot of the time but we don't get the stories. as we grow, we're not able to get to all this. This stories. is why we're doing yeah. catch-ups too. Not only because we're traveling, but also because. Yeah, we know, have a lot of stories so, to get to. Which is, uh, which is beautiful. We love how much y'all write in. But yeah. if you guys are going to start hounding us like the goddamn police. You can pay us. You, you can, can pay us. Pay us. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can pay us or you can eat Lee out. So. I'll take your pick. <laughs> and uh, follow us on Instagram because that's where all our clips come out and that's where our prompts come out and uh, and we can interact with you guys there. For once, Lee is not wrong. Please follow us on Instagram because we're trying to make our fucking dreams come true and we need y'all to fucking boost that little number up. And we love it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, see you on Patreon. <laughs> 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 nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 